you come on today and hopefully start a little series that I'm thinking of doing here on uh, my Instagram. Um, just like a little knitting podcasty type chat thing. <laughs> Not quite sure what to call it at the moment, but um, I just had a bit of an idea um, whilst we're still all in lockdown, lockdown two, um, and I'm spending most of my free time, or what free time I do get, um, doing knitting and crafting, I thought that I would just film a couple of videos, um, just as like a little coffee and chat type thing, um, and just give you a bit of a look at what I'm currently knitting, um, yarns that I'm using, um, and yeah, just have a bit of a chat really. Um, some of you, or I think most of you who follow me know that I'm a keen crafter. Um, anything that I can make and do, I like to sort of try my hand at. Um, but knitting is a craft that I've done for many years on and off. I think I started knitting or I first tried knitting maybe when I was about 16, 17, um, but did it like very loosely, I didn't spend a whole lot of time doing it, um, but it's something that I I can leave and come back to and I still know what I'm doing um, vaguely. Um, I still call myself a beginner knitter though because um, it's only recently that I've started to actually make proper things rather than just making squares and then leaving them and hoping that I'm going to make something with them. Um, obviously being pregnant with Kofi last year, um, I started making him things for his arrival. Um, I made him various pairs of boots um, and hats, which came out really well. And I think baby knitting for babies is great because I find that they're small enough that if you make a mistake that's really, really drastic, then you can just take it all apart and start again. Um, but at the moment, and also I will just mention that I'm a crafter that I tend to start loads of things, um, get them going, and then I get excited about another thing and start another thing. And so I always end up with a huge list of stuff that I'm either currently doing or um, I want to do. However, I'm trying to do things and start them and then finish them all the way to the end. Um, and with that in mind, I have recently started a garment for myself, which I'm very excited about because it's coming along very nicely indeed. And I'm really excited because um, it's the first item that I've actually made myself, like for me. So I'm really pleased with how it's coming along. I've still got a long ways to go. Um, but I've had this yarn in my stash for ages. Um, probably well over a year. Maybe even two years. Um, and I bought it from Hobbycraft because it was on a 3 for 2 offer. A lovely yarn to work with. And I would recommend if you're starting knitting to use big needles, chunky yarn, um, because they, if you're going to make something um, rather than just do squares to begin with, um, chunky yarn knits up really quickly um, and you can see results very, very quickly. So, uh, this is the yarn that I'm using for the cardigan. I've got to say I'm making a cardigan. Um, this is the yarn that I'm using. It's um, it's from Hobbycraft, as I say, and the brand is the, the Women's Institute. They do lots of different um, yarn types and colours and things, but I really liked this one. Sorry if you can hear that. You okay, Kofi? Yeah? <laughs> um, this is the Women's Institute yarn. Um, they do lots of different colours, but I really liked this creamy colour. Um, it's soft and chunky. Uh, it's 100 grams per skein. Um, and I'm just trying to look now. 
at what it calls for in terms of needle sizes. Um, so it calls for 9mm needles or crochet hooks. Oh, and fibre content for this is 70% acrylic and 30% merino, so it's nice and soft. So I got those on another 3 for 2 offer, so I'm just working my way through those. I'll probably have to get some more because I don't think that will do the whole cardigan. Um, but I'm still on the back portion. I think I'm pretty much halfway through it now. This isn't perfect, there are many mistakes in it, but I've tried to do it as best I can so far and I'll continue to do that uh, and I will finish the garment rather than frog it um, or take it apart and start again. Um, because I just want to finish it and I'm really excited about this cardigan. So there are a few holes um, and where I've tried to add in new yarn, you can really see it. I've still got my ends to weave in, but I am very happy with how it's going. Um, so I cast this on, um, I will try and, I'll write somewhere on the screen or in the comments and what pattern I'm using, but it's a free pattern and I got it from lovecraft.com. It's a pattern that I've had in my library for ages. Again, I wanted to do this many, a few years ago, but I just never started it. But I thought with lockdown two here and um, a bit of, I'll just do it in my free time. So I'll try and link the pattern somewhere. I cast it on with the, the biggest size, so 51 stitches. Um, and then it calls, it's basically all garter stitch. So it's very easy. It's the, when you first learn knitting, you will learn garter stitch, and that's the basic stitch um, that most people use and most people start with. Uh, and this carding is, cardigan is all garter stitch, so it's really easy. Um, and to be honest, the pattern is really easy to follow. Um, you don't have to constantly look at the pattern either. So I can, if I'm holding Kofi or if Kofi's happy for me to leave him in his chair for a little while or if he's sleeping or we're watching TV or whatever, it's a one that I can really just do constantly. And then I'm basically finishing off this back portion and I'm just knitting up to, I think it's 55 centimetres and that will be the back portion finish. And then I can move on to the next bit. So I'm going to keep you updated with how this is going. Um, but yes, I'm really looking forward to seeing it nearly complete um, and trying it on and all the rest of it. So yeah, that's the cardigan that I'm currently making. I don't actually have anything else on needles or on the go. Um, but that might change because I wanted to share... Um, some wool, some yarn, wool, do people call it yarn, do you call it wool, can I call it yarn, <laughs> um, some yarn that I got yesterday, which I'm so excited about because I never ever managed to catch the yarn in Aldi, but I did yesterday, I had this yesterday, and I thought it was very good value, um, it, so it's Aldi, but the brand is so crafty. I've had a look for them on Instagram, but I can't find them anyway. Um, this is a pack of 10 DK yarns. Um, so double knit yarns. Um, that's basically just the weight of the yarn. And I can definitely get quite a bit out of this. Um, maybe a shawl, because I would quite like to make a shawl for me or definitely a few things for cozy so yeah I, I really like this um, and actually they have different colour ranges um, they have like a bright a really bright selection pastel and then they have this and it's called earth tone which I thought really suits the season but it's also colours that I wear a lot um, so yeah I'm really excited to get knitting with those and I will keep you updated. I tend to post a lot of my knitting stuff on my Instagram stories as well so I'm sure you will see anything that I'm doing next on there as well but I'll hope to do another one of these soon. 
Um, anyway, I think that's everything that I wanted to share today. Um, there are a few, pat uh, a few patterns that I've found that I could talk to you about. Um, I'm on Ravelry, um, which is a knitting um, and crochet community. Um, I've only just started using it like properly because um, they've recently done an update on like they've like I guess you could say rebranded. Um, and previously I didn't use it much because I didn't like the way that it functioned. It wasn't very easy for me to um, to follow. But they've had a rebrand, um, and I love it. Um, it's very simple to use now, it's a lot clearer for me to understand and I enjoy it now. So there are a few patterns that I've got earmarked for new projects. Um, one is a shawl that I really want to, use, to do and that's a, a free one. Um, and then I think there might even be a scarf um, on there. Um, another website that I use is Lovecraft. Dot com that's a really good website good for buying yarn as well and patterns and anything you possibly need for knitting crochet and sewing um, that's a really good one and I get I've got quite a few in my library on there uh, that's free to sign up to so is Ravelry um, and on there I've got a jumper that I really want to start but um, well I've got it like pinned I haven't bought the pattern yet. The pattern's not very expensive, but the project will be because of the yarns that you need, and you need a lot. So I'm sort of leaving that for a little bit and seeing how I go with this cardigan um, before I commit to a big sweater that's going to cost um, quite a bit to make. So, yes, yeah, that's that. And that's everything, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'll try and find, the, I'll try and um, link or show or do something I'll write the <laughs> information for the patterns that I'm pinned um, down below um, and yeah I think that's everything if you are a knitter let me know um, if you aren't and you want to start um, I won't say well my, DM, my DMs are open to questions because I'm quite a chatty person anyway and if you have any questions or you're new to knitting um, then yeah, I will answer them. <laughs> um, but just know my replies might be a bit delayed or whatever because I have Kofi to consider first of all. So, um, but yes, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to help you. I'm not an expert, um, but I do really enjoy knitting and it's really, really helped me. Um, well, crafts in general, um, doing little manageable projects in and around Kofi has really helped me um, since becoming a mum um, and actually it's helped me find my me <laughs> again um, because for a little bit for a little while there I thought I'd I wouldn't enjoy things for myself again but I am so that's good and I won't go into too much detail about that but yeah, yeah I've found my, my crafts again and I've worked out how I can fit them in and around Kofi, so I'm very happy about that because it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. I hope you liked this video. Sorry, they are going to be very chatty and very informal, um, and I won't be glamorously presented, I'm afraid. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought it might be quite a nice thing to post and share because um, I think we all need a good, a, a good cuppa and a chat time <laughs> whilst we're in lockdown again um so yes yeah, i will leave you now um i have a kofi to look after um and hopefully more catching up on this cardigan and i will i'll try and do another video soon um with an update on what i'm doing and what i'm missing so yeah thank you for watching and i will speak to you soon